Hey, there you are. Your meeting go well. As well as hoped. Thanks. Then let's get down to business. You know who I am. You know my past. You know what little I have left. What are you gonna do about it now is the question. You gonna use what you can against me? Well, let me carry on with the small life I've managed to build. What happened that day? I had a surge. A big one. One even the Masters never saw coming, literally. Before they even knew what was happening, I electrified everyone and everything around me. It screamed like thunder from my body, before the ceiling itself finally collapsed in on me. I woke up in the infirmary without an arm, surrounded by all those powerful Masters who stood there shaken, whispering their eyes still filled with fear. And everything went dark again. And I woke up in a sand sail. Why aren't you with your family? <laughs> right. My family. They were small-time merchants. I'm sure real proud their son was gifted with technomancy and was joining the school. They were also scared as shit of me for the same reason. We're all scared of what we don't understand. It's why so many fear us both. Not that I'm sure any of the Masters even asked them to take me back. It was more important to them that I disappear for good. To hide what happened. Keep the illusion of their infallibility intact. Also, to hide the fact they had people among them who had the power to take down entire buildings. No, I had to go. In some ways, they even did me a favor. And you never tried to reconnect with them? Even after you got free? No, I looked for him. Even tracked down my father. He was just this... old man. Didn't even recognize me. And if he did, he'd probably just hate me for what I've become. A crippled outcast. Not something you'd put your pride in. So I let it lie. Just walked away. I want to help you. What can I do? Some things can't be healed, Rogue. Like that scar across your face. I'm guessing you got it the day I lost everything. And was reduced to a sad, broken, armless shadow of what I might have been. Some things can't be healed, but most can be mended, Bren. Let me ask around. It might be a long shot, but maybe you'll find a new reason to call yourself lucky again. We'll find someone who can lead you back to your gifts. I promise. I may be bitter, but I'm no less grateful. Thank you, Zechariah. A little show of kindness goes a long way. Zechariah! You look good! Better than I, as if that was hard to accomplish. What do you think about Andrew? He comes from Ophir, like you, and he could have become a Technomancer, but he had an accident. I remember, yes. You know that I was the one who had spotted his abilities and had taken him to school, as I did for you? I thought that he was dead. That's what I was told, that he was dead. I shouldn't have listened to that. He looks perfectly alive now. Yes, but he lost an arm during the accident, and he can't use Technomancy anymore. How so? That's ridiculous. Technomancy has nothing to do with arms. It is all in the head. You just have to... let me think. Yes, I think that with... yes, that's it. With a full Technomancer kit, I would have the parts needed to create a bypass on the classic prosthesis. I need my notes to do that. Your notes? I study technomancy as well. Anyway, from a scientific standpoint, obviously. I have never thrown lightning bolts and I can't do it physically. Moreover, those kits wouldn't suit me, I'm sure. Scott, you studied technomancy? Yes, and I had conducted in-depth research on the way in which your neural network expressed its static charge throughout your equipment. But all this is old. I can't remember it all, and I left my notes in Ophir. I won't have any trouble helping that boy. 
you bring me my notes and the equipment? You wanted something else? No. Thank you, Scott. I'm gonna try to bring all that back.
reached the point where we're gonna spend hours upon hours turning the place upside down to find a mad scientist's secret diary. Fun. If they're old notes, he may have hidden them before. You know. Before MAD was added to the front of Scientist? Whatever. I don't know when all that shit started. I've known him since forever, and he's always been completely whacked.
Unfortunately, this is beyond my skill level. the others. We must go, though. Now. Ah, Zachariah. My faith in you was not misplaced. I... Yeah, come on! We're going to take you yeah. down! Yeah. They're coming, Zachariah. Go! There's a dome hidden in the desert. One spoken of in the tablet you brought me. Find it! You won't get away! They're here! Lead our kind to the crypt. Save them! Come on, guys! I won't leave you... There is no time to debate! Go! Master. Go on. I will help him. And tell Andrew. I am sorry. But flee, Zachariah! Protect our kind! Move, you idiot! Run! They're overloading him! On. Where's the old man? Where's he at? He wanted to stop whatever was tailing him. He oversurged. Oh, shit. Oh, hell, Sack. I'm, I'm sorry. We should get going, though, now. Not let his sacrifice be for nothing, you know? Yeah. Yeah, we need to protect the one still left. Yeah! 
Take this elevator straight to the sand sails. From there, the merchants will take you to Noctis. Are you? The legendary city of the merchants? For real? Amazing! That... But what about the other Technomancers who escaped the ASC too? Are they gonna be able to... Talk to the merchant running the sand sails. I'm sure he'll be able to help them too. And they can join us in Noctis with other caravans. Zachariah, thank you. What would have happened to us without you? Zachariah, the great hero of his brothers, has returned triumphant, amazing, against all odds, against a city. Bravo! But uh, I don't see anyone resembling the great master. Is he... dead? He sacrificed himself so we could get out. Oh, so sad, truly. Well, please tell your colleagues, your brothers, they are welcomed here. Let them rest and regain their strength. I can only imagine what the ASC put them through. And without their great master, they must feel lost on top of it all. Feel the void for a leader among them. No? What are you getting at? Just simply that, as their hero, it might be in their best interest for you to fill that void. I don't purport to understand how these things work among your kind. Through a vote, or drinking game, but you've earned it. They need you to pull them back together after what they've been through. And to have a unified group of Technomancers among us to serve would be valuable beyond imagination. Think about it. I'll think about it. But now's not the time. We need to mourn the Fallen. Zachariah, you look good. Better than I. As if that was... Zachariah! I brought you back what you asked for. Oh, you found the ostrich egg cream. No. But I found your notes on Technomancy, and I found a full kit. For Andrew, the prosthesis? Ah, yes! The prosthesis! Give it to me. No, 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 it, it shouldn't take me long. Roughly a few hours, just enough time to go through my notes. It would go even faster if you gave me a hand. You really didn't remember to bring me any cream. That's too bad. Very well. I'll help you. Pass me the prosthesis. So, Scott, success? Of course. These kits are rather easy to adapt to a prosthesis, and it's given me ideas. You see, we could produce prostheses with an electrical transmission system, even for non-technomancers. We would just have to... May I? Here. I like... I mean, I'd prefer if all those people weren't around. Let's go to a quiet place. Ha! 
Hey, watch out! <laughs> oh, you bought it? Don't worry, I've already messed you up enough. <laughs> you got me. You know, not using technomancy requires even more control, mastery. I completely forgotten this feeling of relaxation, peace. Welcome back to your people, Andrew. Thank you very much to both of you. It's so strange. I feel like I'm a new man. You're welcome, my boy. Have fun. <laughs>